Did I lose Vladivostok? stock? I really I really did, didn't I? They are pushing through down here. Shit. How did I not notice this? How did I not notice this was a thing? So while they are surrounded now, now it's just a matter of getting getting my army to use it. Use that opportunity. Knock them dead. If at all possible. Maybe I should add that as a like a stipend. If it, if at all possible, could you, if it wasn't too much issue, knock them dead, please, maybe? You know, if you have the time, if you're, if you're going for it anyway. Let's take out these big areas of Mongolia so they can move forward here with some divisions. Maybe having so many divisions here is a mistake. I, actually, I think it is. Until proven otherwise, at least some of these. Like, this army does not need to exist. This army can, might as well be part of the Chinese army. So they will be disbanded and moved over there. To help out in whatever way is possible. Here's one more tank division being done. But so far... We have managed to surround them a little bit here. We have created a pocket. A big pocket. Now it's a matter of closing it and annihilating everyone within it. That is both the fun part and the difficult part. The most difficult part. Let's see how it's going in Australia at the moment. Perth is about to fall. They have lost Sydney, they have lost everything here. They should be pretty close to surrender now. 97%. So when we take Perth, that should make them fall. Focus on should. And with all of these extra divisions here, at least that front can fall as well. Oh, maybe I missed to take um, Brisbane. I failed at least to take Brisbane at the moment. Due to American troops again. Stupid America, always, always finding a way to mess everything up for me. So Australia will capitulate very soon. There we go, Australia has capitulated. Excellent news. Excellent, excellent, brilliant. Brilliant news. So Australia has fallen. The eagle has landed, whatever else. It means I can use these armies here to send them all the way, all the way to Melbourne. Come on, where's the port icon? Finding these bloody port icons is the most annoying freaking thing in the world. Switching to a different map mode though makes it easier. Like, is it even visible? It's barely visible. Non-aggression pact from... Turkey. Well, sure. Sure, Turkey. Who are you fighting against? German War and United Kingdom. So you're part of the Axis, are you? Okay. They joined the Axis. But the Axis are... strange. It's almost 1943 and they still haven't started their war. Meanwhile... This pocket is holding, for the moment at least. So hopefully that, that will continue to hold moving forward as well. Advanced anti-tank seems a fun thing to do. Uh, let's pause things for now. Let's see here. Upgrade the airplanes. No, that's a bit too early. The close air support could be useful to upgrade though. So let's get, go with some Mitsubishi. Advanced airplanes. And upgrade some more artillery. Here we go. Okay, so closing the gap was it? Closing the portal almost. And I think maybe reducing the responsibility of the Chinese army could be a thing as well that needs to be done. For example, these units. Who are you part of? You're part of no one. These units are part of no one either. 
all of these units have nothing to do. Okay, so get get working. Get with the Chinese army. There's so much crap going around here. Mongolia, do you have any cities less, less left to take? None, maybe? Okay. None, maybe. Do they have any ports here that they could transport things from? Probably have one up here. Probably something around here that could send some supplies. But their supply line should be noticeably cut. There should be a noticeable difference. And why is the front line here never keeping up? It's probably something I'm, I'm doing wrong, but still. Why is the front line there never following what it's supposed to be doing? No, and let's push them back. Are they facing some issues right now with... No, they're not. They still don't have any major problems with supplies. I'm afraid to... I'm afraid to message. To give that answer report to the High Command. More Siamese troops. And here's even more of them. The Chinese troops. Do you have anything else around here that are not part of a troop or of a unit? Because that kind of needs to go here to the front line. Blood will stop. And here's some more units. Both uh, regular units and Siamese units. Both, all of them kind of need to go to the front line. And Hoi Shidan over here is, well. It's a unit that needs kind of restructuring, I suppose. Before everyone is kind of running away, let's let's knock him out. Knock him dead. Let's just force them on. Let's put some pressure on them. Put some pressure on them. I'll cross the entire front here. Should go all right, I think. This, of course, split the Russian or the Chinese army in in half. So now there's 22 divisions of Chinese army that are spread here, and nine here, meaning that 75 divisions are stuck on this pocket here. Basically, my point is that there's not a lot of divisions that are on this front line now, but everyone is here. Which also means that 82 divisions of the Chinese army are bound to this assault plan. Which I think is about time to start. The Chinese army, let's start your attack plan. And maybe you can do it for me. And I'll use my divisions, my tank divisions, to, to assist you along the way. Over here things are going fairly well. Okay, let's go for Australia again. These troops have landed, I'm assuming. One have landed. Wait, this is not the ones that I wanted. Where are they? Oh, they're only here. But they're on their way. They're on their way. And the last remnants of Australians on Papua New Guinea will soon surrender. Brilliant news. Brilliant news. Overall, a massive success on all accounts. The only problem being the Soviet Union throwing a hiss of it. And having a ton of divisions here. I mean looking at all of these divisions they should really be more aggressive. And looking at you know the situation overall German Reich should definitely be more aggressive. Holy hell. Am I disappointed in, in their actions? Okay, don't overextend. Don't overextend. Wait for them to have supply issues. Before really moving forward. And here's just a ton of divisions moving around, readjusting to new lands as they are. 
Only one division from Army 2 is covering that whole entire thing. And three divisions of Army 2. Army 2, what the hell are you even doing? They're trying to knock out this, so everyone is stuck because this division is causing issues. Come on, take it out. There's 40 divisions fighting you. Surrender. There we go. Maybe now they can be readjusted to different front lines. But yeah, this pocket here, well, I don't know. This takes forever to close. I don't think... I don't think they are really losing too much from it, either. That's the disappointing thing. Like, I don't see them losing too many supplies from it. Oh, now they're finally having low supplies. That took ages. Super heavy battleships, and now there's uh, naval base expansion and carrier focus. So let's go with carrier focus for now. I don't even know if I have the latest carrier or not. Well, the latest carrier is in 1944, so we have all the ones that we can for now. For now. And these are facing issues, I hope. Unable to transport too large. So they try to transport them away, I think. Maybe flee up here. So this becomes like their Dunkirk, I suppose. Hopefully it will end as disastrous for them as... Well, it, Dunkirk wasn't too disastrous. It could have been worse. But hopefully this doesn't become the Dunkirk in that... Well, I won't be sleeping, but I will be attacking instead and taking them all out. It would be helpful if the German Reich did their part. Their plan for Lebensraum, by all means, continue started. And these two marine units... Where are they going? They're going around... In freaking place, aren't they? Okay, so the tank, the air, the ships over here. Okay, let's go for. Wait. What is going on? Okay, I need to I need to close. I forgot to how to control the fleet again. Let's go with. There, no wait, this is not a fleet. There, here are the fleets. So there's a new fleet needs to be taking, uh, taking care of all of this. The home islands, there is a, a big fleet already. They need a commander. Sengo Yoshida. He will be moving towards Brisbane. He will have that as his own personal hideout, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, I like this. Supplies? No, this doesn't. This doesn't have supply issues. But do these? So all some of them have, to various extents. No supplies here, but not low supplies here. I think the the tank ones are, are better supplied at the moment than the rest of their stuff are. So are these divisions facing those issues? No, they are not. Well, to be fair, I think they might have stockpiled a ton of stuff before I close the gap here. And maybe they are being reinforced here. And in Vladivostok, especially in Vladivostok. So I really want to take Vladivostok if possible. I really would love that. Uh, in Mongolia, kind of been knocked away. Where is their capital now, Mongolia? After Ulaanbaatar fell. Doesn't matter. Let's kind of go for it. Here's 27 divisions. Just, you know, casually. Just hanging out there. Whatever. Both. We're, we're crumbling. They're, they're crumbling. They're crumbling over here. And they're not advancing. On the other side as well, so... Overall, operation has been a success. They have lost almost 400,000 men. We lost 299. Mongolia is close to being... Or to losing. And Xinjiang is very, very close to capitulating as well. Mm. 
Well, we can't really fight them over here. Because these are the expedition forces. These are like the Romanians of, of our army. Nothing against Romanians. Just referring to the roll in in the wars of uh, World War II. Let's see here. At least some of these, maybe. T3 can be part of the plan to go from here to Rabul. As soon as you're ready, at your own discretion. Now, finally, and they will have a plan. Melbourne to Hobart. As soon as you're ready for it, by all means, start. It's a weird thing, though, that they can't just. Well, I mean, you could just start there. Just we're so close. So close. They need six more days to prepare that. They ha will have as much time as they need. Okay, here do we go. Okay, get us forward. These two tank divisions, are you ready for anything? Xinjiang has capitulated. That's about bloody time. Let's try to attack along the front here. And force them away. So Xinjiang has capitulated, and I'm pretty sure these divisions are now trying to adjust to that capitulation. I wonder though if the front has been divided up into two. Actually, this has two, three divisions are covering this entire thing. Three divisions. And where are the rest of those three divisions in? Army 2, where are the rest of you? Oh, they're way over here. So you split focus. That's not brilliant. That's not brilliant at all. They're very split as well. I don't know how to fix that. Or maybe I should move them over here and send the rest. Like, okay, so let's have all of you focus on on this and remove the front line way over here. No, it's a different army. Wait, there's still three divisions here. So why can't I remove it? I don't understand. This is army 2. Are there a different army called army 2 as well? I doubt it. So army 2 should remove here. Uh, all of the divisions are over here now. There's something I'm missing there. There's something I'm not getting. Could you clearly label army 2, 3 divisions? Okay. Well, either way, there's no battle going on here. I could... I, oh, I have, an, I have a plan. I have a plan. I have a dream. Of sorts. Aren't you in, in Tokyo? Shouldn't you be able to transport yourselves over here? Oh god, and I even got... Allowed. Okay. Shouldn't you be able to get here? Do you have a lack of uh, transport ships, perhaps? Unable to move to a province along its path. Okay, can you move here then? No? Oh no, the naval base is not in Tokyo, it's like right next by. Okay, never mind then. I, I apologize. Now I go to Dalian. And after that I will send him on a sacred mission across the Siberia. It will be the greatest adventure of, all, of his life. And I might take these these ten divisions. I should take these twenty divisions, remove them from the current hierarchy, and send them over here. Their mission to explore uncharted territory, and uh, however else that intro sequence goes for Star Trek. Well, I think now they're finally running out of resources. Low supply. Uh, not all of them, though. Not all of them, though. But we should still be able to knock them dead. 
That was stock. Things are not going too well for them. Okay, there we go. And I don't think know how long this this battle has been trying to take place, or has been taking place. But it's been a long time now. The victory is a long time coming. And I think they are adjusting now to my sudden aggression, which is wise of them. Most wise. Especially to these 20 divisions that are going to try to move across Siberia in as a safe manner as possible. Can they just not invite the German Reich? Like, come on, Germany. For God's sakes, just attack the Soviet Union. Don't tell me you have some sort of non aggression pact with them. It's impossible. Are they just waiting for me to knock them dead and then they will try to attack? Or have they actually started a war? No, they're not. They haven't started their war. But someone here is trying to attack. How, do, how can they attack from Hung Hungary and I can? I, I can't attack here because it's from neutral territory, but they are suddenly having fights. Low manpower. Oh god, I actually don't have too much manpower. What can I do to, to help out? Extensive conscription, perhaps? Well, now we have 3.2 million. That should solve that should solve the problem. Quite nicely. And they really... Like, how can the motor motorized units not be on low supply at this point? Let's try to knock him dead. Keep him occupied. There we are. There we are. There we are. Things are going better. I hope. Maybe. Perhaps. Potentially. Oh, come on. Don't attack Vladivostok. That's not at all what you should do. You should surround it. Surround it. That is the plan. And over here, suddenly, the Soviets have an immense amount of divisions. And this front line, due to... It's, like, it's getting splintered. Like, here's a couple of divisions, here are some other divisions. And it's all getting royal and mixed up. So I think these should just be assigned to a new army. Under... Whatever. Okay, no, I don't need you to be, uh, be done like this. Okay, send them across that border. There we go. 